so what is a thought leader? You've heard all of that. Let me try to distill it. It starts, I think, by thought leaders start by being change agents. They've got something that they're doing that's different than what's already been done or always been done. And they inspire us with that change. They inspire a few folks around them. And then they recognize that this innovation is something worth spreading. They understand they need to replicate and scale that because they themselves can't do that alone. They understand that they need to start building followers in order to build sustainable change. So thought leadership is about starting as a change agent, which is why I think this is such a powerful conversation for folks here at Google, because so many of you are creating unbelievable innovations. So now how about sharing those in a way that those ideas can be broadened, those innovations can become sustainable change. When you think about our foremothers that are showcased on all the walls around and those who are not here in the room, we've got posters of all kinds of amazing women who we're celebrating here on Women's History Month. They all replicated their change beyond one small place to something that had a bigger impact. Making an impact often starts, though, locally. It starts in one company, one organization, one city, one school, and then it starts to grow from there through the efforts of often one or a small team of individuals. And it starts to have, potentially, the chance to make a movement. It is actually the art of building a followership for our ideas and for the change that we have underway. That, to me, is true thought leadership. It's not tweeting what you had for lunch. Okay, I know. That, that used to be the old way. Set up a Twitter account. I'm a thought leader. Like, no, not so much. So I'm trying to reclaim this word, thought leader, because I really do believe it's something much bigger and something to really be proud of when you get that moniker. <laughs> 